Okay, so today's Sunday. It's pretty somewhat early in the morning. Uh, gonna try going to the gym for a little bit. To be honest with you, it's been incredibly painful. So probably won't do any, do very much. Just uh, kind of get in there, just get a little bit of blood moving, I guess. Um, but I also brought my cervical collar here because it's about 7:46 here. I want to be able to just drive, just see what it's like. Um, so, before all the surgery and everything happens, I've got about, you know, right now it's, uh, what is today? The 13th, so I got about 20 days left. No, 10 days. 10 days left. Um, and since I have to wear a cervical collar, this dude dead for about six weeks, and I can't drive for at least, I don't know, a week and a half or so. I'm not even sure if I'm supposed to drive with this. Um, but I'm going to wear it right now while there's pretty light traffic. Uh, drive around and kind of see, you know, what that experience is like. Um, I'll tell you right now, it's, it's quite stiff. Um, so yeah, let's see how this goes. I think I'll be on the road for about 11 minutes. Um, very small time or minimal time will be on surface roads most of it will be on uh, the freeway so we'll see what that's like well wow, interesting can't really even shrug very well gosh I look like an idiot <laughs> alright um, no I'm not gonna drive with this camera on so just let you know that that's what's happening and I'll continue this when I stop so wish me luck and goodbye. All right, so that's where I need to be. It's a little longer, I guess, maybe. Um, about 12 or so minutes, 14 minutes of driving. Um, really interesting. I'm going to just take this off. So I don't know, again, I don't know if I'm supposed to drive with a cervical collar. I will say it's not comfortable. I've been limiting a lot of how I move or how I look um, because I've been in just so much pain uh, over the last, I don't know, 10, 11 months-ish. But even then, you know, while I, I, you know, it sometimes will hurt as I talk to someone in my passenger seat or if I have to look uh, to my left for, you know, as I merge, um, I've definitely adjusted how I do that. So I, a lot of times I will turn my, my whole torso uh, because again, turning my whole neck just, or my head just hurts. Um, so wearing this, I was cognizant of how much I still want to use my neck and how much more that I could actually use my torso to keep looking. Um, definitely was not, again, comfortable and it definitely limited a lot of my range uh, of motion, which you'd expect. Um, it was just interesting because I always thought that, hey, I was already twisting a lot with my torso in the direction I'm trying to look, but this made it very apparent that I wasn't doing it enough or that much even um, because as I was trying to look as I was merging onto the highway or as I'm making a turn into this parking lot I kept I could feel that the collar was telling me not to turn anymore so I had to really keep shifting or rotating my torso um, so that'll be uh, very interesting you know as I go post-op what happens. I think another thing that's really interesting about this is just how much I'm going to hate probably wearing this cervical collar. Uh, potentially, you know, obviously at work as I'm sitting there and I'm mostly at a desk, so uh, you know, typing on a keyboard and everything else, and I've got my coworkers right there in the room. It's an open room, uh, so just kind of turning to everyone and talking to them will be probably pretty difficult. Um, so yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, you know, the last 
actually yesterday what was really interesting too is that I was actually in a lot of pain. Um, not it was a bit in my back and my neck again, but I also had a headache, and I'm not sure why, but I've I've had several headaches uh, typically on the weekends, potentially because I don't know maybe I sleep too much on the weekends. Um, but what sucked was that in the past, you know, I would maybe pop a, a couple uh, ibuprofen, but this time I couldn't because I am now within two weeks of surgery and they advised me not to take any anti-inflammatories like Advil's, aspirins, um, ibuprofens, you know, the non-steroidal uh, anti-inflammatories and the like. So I'm not supposed to take those within two weeks. And so yesterday was pretty painful. I pretty much had like a headache the whole day. Um, this morning, you know, typically because my neck and back has been hurting a lot as well, I would also take uh, some anti-inflammatories. So, it's, you know, we'll see what happens the next uh, week and a half. Hopefully it's not going to be that rough for me um, prior to surgery. Um, I mean, today at the gym, I'm really not going to do too much. Um, really just get up just to get up. Um, maybe do a little bit of walking. Maybe. Maybe a lot of just stretching. I don't feel like I'm going to push push myself. Push myself, which I really don't anyways. So, that's what's happening. Uh, let me get in there and appreciate you guys watching. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, I forgot to check my mail. So I suspect I have the measuring tape in the mail and I'll be able to at least take some measurements um, and then I'll report that and then I'll start tracking that over time and see where I go from there. Uh, what's unfortunate is that I haven't necessarily pushed myself to figure out my maxes from a lifting perspective in a long time. So not only when I was feeling good, but also while I've been hurt. And I suppose I could also look at like some of my workout logs to see, I never really tracked like when I was hurting a lot. You know, I tracked what weights and the like, but for the most part I didn't say, okay, I did, you know, 200 or whatever on the bench press. And so how many and how did I feel after that, um, let alone prior to that. So uh, well, I'll probably have to put my finger to the wind and try to estimate, you know, what were the weights that I really stuck to, um, and then start tracking that as well over time. So anyways, again, appreciate it. Let me know if you guys have any questions, and we'll see how today's workout goes as my back and everything starts to pinch at me. Like I said, not going to do much, really, probably just extra, uh, stretch a little bit. So, see ya.